Greetings from Stadok. This is Jaswin and I welcome you to the next video of the team Famous Scientist of Modern World. This video is about a scientist who in addition to his studies in radioactivity also gave a foundation to the structure of atom. He is none other than Ernest Rutherford, the father of nuclear physics. Let us take the following few minutes to know more about this famous scientist. Without any further ado, let's get started. Rutherford was born on 30th August 1871 in New Zealand. He was born to James Rutherford and Martha Thompson as their fourth child. He did his schooling at the Nelson Collegiate School and then continued his studies at the Canterbury College. He earned his MA degree in the year 1893 and BSc in the year 1894. He joined the Trinity College Cambridge in the year 1894 and then received his BA degree in the year 1897. As a research student in the Cavendish laboratory he got a chance to work under the famous scientist JJ Thomson from then there was no looking back he developed and discovered some of the most fascinating ideas of nuclear physics the following are some of his contributions to the modern world Rutherford became the first non Cambridge graduate to be admitted for PhD at the Cambridge University where he got a chance to work with the most famous scientist of that time JJ Thomson his innovative ability came to light when he passed the x-rays in a gas chamber and found out that the insulating gases had turned into conducting media on further research in the year 1899 Rutherford discovered the alpha and beta rays the discovery of alpha and beta rays is a milestone in the history of nuclear physics alpha rays are a stream of alpha particles that contain two protons and two neutrons They are identical to the helium nucleus and they have a net spin of 0. Beta rays on the other hand are similar to the high energy cathode rays and they have a very 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 small mass which enable them to reach a very high speed. For a fact, they can reach the speed which is close to the speed of light. With these results of alpha and beta rays, Rutherford recognized the existence of subatomic particles and proved the theory of JJ Thomson. The study of alpha particles enabled Rutherford to conduct the most famous gold foil experiment or the Geiger-Mason experiment. Through this experiment, Rutherford placed a thin gold foil which was nearly 1000 atoms thin. This gold foil was hit with alpha particles which had a positive charge. Most of the alpha particles went right through the gold foil which proved that atoms were mostly empty spaces and very few deflected by small and large angles showing that the positive part of the atom is concentrated in a small place. Through this study of his Rutherford proposed the solar system model of the atom which is considered a base for the present day structure of the atom. Through this model Rutherford told that electrons are negatively charged subatomic particles that revolve around the positively charged center of the atom. Though he was successful in proposing the basic structure of an atom, he failed to explain the stability of the atom. As per the classical theory of mechanics, any revolving body will experience change in acceleration which undergoes loss in energy and the electrons will follow a spiral path. It eventually collapses into the nucleus making the atoms highly unstable. But in the real world, atoms are stable. Rutherford failed to explain the stability of the atom. In World War 1, Rutherford participated in war related research which consisted of developing methods for detecting submarines by sound waves. He helped the mobilized scientists to contribute their might in war efforts. Ernest Rutherford is also credited for having proposed the laws of radioactive decay. In the year 1914, he was given the knighthood to be recognized as Sir Ernest Rutherford. His contribution to the field of science has earned him many reputed awards. and he was recognized as one of the greatest scientists of that time he was awarded the copley medal franklin medal albert medal rumford medal hector medal the royal society beckerian medal bernard medal for meritorious service to science and the faraday lectureship prize among others along with these in the year 1908 he was awarded the nobel prize in chemistry for his discovery which stated that heavy atoms have a tendency to decay into lighter atoms which was the main idea behind radioactive decay 
Not only has Rutherford backed so many awards, but a reputed award is also named after him. The Rutherford Memorial Medal is an award for research in the field of physics and chemistry by the Royal Society of Canada. It is dedicated in the memory of Ernest Rutherford, which is awarded once for physics and once for chemistry each year. It is given to suitable scientists for their outstanding research. Other than this award, an element called Rutherfordium is also named after this famous scientist, Rutherford. Rutherfordium has an atomic number 104 and mass number 261. It is a D-block element classified as a transition metal and a radioactive element. For a fact, even a mineral called Rutherfordine is named after Rutherford. Rutherford wrote many books during his lifetime. The radioactivity in the year 1904, radioactive transformation in the year 1906, the structure of atom in the year 1913, and radiations from radioactive substances in the year 1930. He remained active and working to the very end of his life. On 19th October 1937, this famous scientist left the world to his journey to the heaven. His discoveries made him immortal in the pages of history. These were a few facts about the great scientist Rutherford, who is definitely a person worth knowing about. Hope you liked this video and found it informative. Do like, share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll be back soon with the next and the last video of the theme, Famous Scientists of Modern World. Until then, thank you.